This year it just seems like it's just so practical. All the principles and concepts out of God's Word. It's been so inspiring and stirring and it's so balanced and I think that this will impact uh, each member in the church. It's just uh, an incredible experience and uh, I look forward to going back and sharing you know, what we've learned with the brethren. Philadelphia Church of God ministers and wives from around the world traveled to the headquarters campus in Edmond, Oklahoma, December 30th, 2015 to January 5th, 2016 for the ministerial conference. Ministers and wives heard four two-hour lectures from Pastor General Gerald Flurry and 14 other lectures from 11 headquarters ministers and regional directors. The conference consisted of five full days of lectures and more than 30 hours of instruction. The ministers also participated in activities with the Edmund congregation and other visitors. Meals, receptions, and a dinner dance. The 59 ministers from 10 countries and 14 American states represent a church with scattered members from all walks of life living in more than 50 countries. The one thing that's common, they're all God's people and they all have the same perspective. So they may have a little different in culture, but really we all are combined together with God's spirit and in the direction we're going. We have 20 congregations. Uh, and about 402 people attending right now, uh, 297 of whom are baptized, so we call ourselves Gideon's Army. <laughs> Ministers often travel long distances to meet with congregations and individual members around the globe. I represent countries from uh, as far north as Scotland all the way down to uh, the Middle East. We have some members in Cyprus, uh, Malta, Austria, Germany, the Netherlands, France, Ireland, uh, the United Kingdom. We have, we have uh, almost 200 people in that region and, and I'm, I'm there to serve those people and take care of their needs and, and help them out traveling to the different congregations uh, each week. Before the conference we uh, had a long trip around Africa where we went to Ghana, uh, Kenya and then uh, South Africa, Cape Town. Uh, Johannesburg and also Harare, Zimbabwe. Yes, they go through a lot of uh, tests and, and trials. Uh, the biggest challenge uh, they face is mostly the, the financial uh, aspect, whereby the economies there, they are, they are tough, uh, but they keep on uh, fighting the good fight of faith. The one, one continuing theme that is just throughout the whole region, not just Sydney, is that God's people are very happy people. But the whole area is growing and uh, I'm looking after Australia, New Zealand and the uh, Pacific area and of course uh, Philippines and uh, up through to South Africa and India so uh, I have a, a, a very, very uh, wonderful opportunity to serve God's people there and uh, help the ministers down there. So as a team, we're working together to support headquarters. I live in Mexico, in Monterrey, Mexico and I serve the brethren from Spain and Portugal and this conference was very, very uplifting for us. Outstanding, there's been a variety of lectures and it's really helped every demographic. And it's been great just to be back in touch with headquarters and to be reminded of the headquarters standard. And this is our 16th conference, very exciting conference and uh, probably the most exciting we've ever had, I'm sure. And God's really getting us focused, focused on the work and focused on what's to come. Ministers said the conference was a thrilling experience and that they were focused on bringing the instruction and excitement home to the real beneficiaries, the members. Very inspiring, very practical message that we're receiving uh, to serve the brethren even more. They are very, a very warm, hospitable people. Uh, it's, I serve about 114 of them and even though they may be different in some languages and location, I think what I've found to be the most exciting thing about them is that even though we are all so far removed from headquarters, the brethren, their hearts are like 100% in this work. 